you can judge what is in a man's heart by what comes out of his mouth, right? You really can. And similarly, you can learn a lot about people who watch this channel by the comment section. And one of the things that we keep seeing is a lot of guys that are in their 20s and their teens worried that they can't get married if they go bald. Okay, that's a, that's a common anxiety that I see in the comments. But what I wanna do is I wanna take that to the next level. And I wanna ask this question. Let's say that you do keep enough hair to get married, all right? And let's say now you're age 28. You've been married a couple of years. You found the perfect woman and now you're married and you're happy and you're in love and everything's great. And after you've been married a couple of years, you turn 28, you look in the mirror one day and you see your diffuse thinning setting in. You notice your hairline's going back. And within the next year, you've went from a normal head of hair to Norwood five. I mean, you're practically bald for all practical purposes. You're not 30 yet, but you have been married. Then what? I mean, that's, that's what I honestly, I'm asking. I don't know because for so many people who fear that they're going to go bald before they get married and therefore won't find anyone to marry them, which typically are the same people who strongly believe that as we speak all across America, that wives are divorcing their husbands because their husbands are going bald. Typically people who, who believe that that's one of the reasons wives divorce their husbands are typically the ones that think that they cannot get married if they're bald too soon. Okay. But in this story, in this story that I'm writing right now that you're watching me write on the screen, you've been married a couple years now to 28 and from 28 to 29, you go to Norwood five. You had hair, you even enjoyed having hair for a few years when you're married, but now you're practically bald and you're not even 30 yet. Then what? That's what I'm asking. I don't know in your version of truth how that plays out. So then what? What do you do? Because from reading the comments, it seems the, the big push is just to keep your hair long enough to get married. But are you going to worry about it after you get married? Like, then what? Is it almost like, Ha ha, I fooled you, wife. I kept my hair long enough so that we can get married and that you'd marry me. And guess what? I'm going bald now. And I mean, how does that play out? And actually what I would just said was based on an episode of Portlandia that I recently watched. I'm also a big fan of Portlandia also on Netflix. And I've seen every episode in the most recent season. It shows these people that are like on a dating app or whatever. And they go out on a date and they basically just go ahead and decide just to kind of fast forward all the way to them to like years into their marriage and and in in their very first date and uh the 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 guy says ah, do you mind if i go bald and she's like do you mind if i get fat and then the guy like just peels off his hair and he's bald and he like slouches in his chair and then the girl on the date like she changes her clothes i think into like some frumpy looking thing and gains weight and like that whole concept of like, okay, well, at least now they can be comfortable. And that was the whole premise of the thing. But my question is, will that be your reality? I'm not going to do this video over. I'm going to keep that in the video because I don't edit videos. Not normally unless it's my trailer, which helps generate more views. Um, but you know, I want to know. I want to know what you think. What will happen if you keep your hair long enough to get married, and then you start balding. At that point, we, like I alluded to earlier, will you then fear that your wife will divorce you? What would be your plan after you're already married, but then start going bald? I have no idea what you're gonna say because I don't understand your version of truth, but I want to. I'm asking questions to get to know you better. So in the comment section, I want you to tell me, in the chance, in the hopeful chance, you get married and then go bald a few years later. How will you feel about that? What will you do about it? Will you fear that your wife will divorce you? Are you going to have to still worry just as much still now just about losing your hair, but for a different reason? I don't know what you're going to say. I'm asking because I want to know. The only way I can find the answer is for you to leave a comment 